Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. The Fortnite 20.20 mid-season update is finally here and despite it literally bringing no new skins as you can see by all the cosmetics newly updated into the coding that aren't encrypted this update. Despite these two selectable styles coming for a skin that already existed meaning perhaps you even got these for free and with Epic Games allowing us to unlock Prowler literally two days early now which is correlated to as you can see by the title a Miles Morales skin and further details about him literally being in the game's files right now encrypted we're going to be covering all of that everything in 20.20 in this video so do you a favour today if you haven't already decided to sit back relax with your favourite snacks to stick around and watch the full thing of course. It's literally only going to be around 600 seconds or 10 minutes long and throughout that duration I'll have at a random moment a secret word on screen and if you comment it your comment could receive a heart. One last thing you can do for me before we dive into it all however considering it's 100% free to do is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop right now. Entering this code not only puts a giant smile on my face but also cheers up my pug Gus as he's been kind of sad about the fact he knows 70% of you watching right now are not subscribe so if you hit the big red button right now you will help us on our final push to two and a half million subs as we've just reached 2.4 million right now so get clicking after all this only benefits you too considering i get different subscribers every single day who are simply yes subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment their epic games id down below and potentially what they'd like to receive so yeah that could be you gifted in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the very next video on the channel but with all that said now enough messing around we need to dive into everything 20.20 what's upcoming for the live event free rewards and of course the miles morales skin so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Not, I'm sitting on my don't back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so the first thing to note straight away from hopping into game, you will notice as an initial map change anyways that there is one less blimp in the sky. Just like the aftermath of the Daily Bugle being taken over by us and the Seven, pushing back the imagined order from this name location's control, with the blimp crashing into the outskirts ocean in this particular name location in the water, the same thing has happened at Condo Canyon when the battle ended there. This doesn't mean the war is over between the imagined order and the Seven, if anything, only halfway according to Hypex as we know there's battles going all the way up to Rocky Reels as you can see as it's currently started at the other location on this list now despite the Daily Bugle and Condo Canyon being Coney Crossroads and speaking of these mini live events helping the Seven to push back the imagined order anyways not only getting us a ton of loot speaking of loot in itself from eliminating all stages and getting all the loot possible on the ground this is a good way to get one of the Prowler challenges out of the way for picking up three different weapons of epic rarity or greater in one game. As for the other Prowler challenges however simply make sure you're in Team Rumble. I think it's safe to say this is the most easiest way of going about completing any of these as you can respawn and believe it or not speaking of Prowler and all his rewards which will look like this in reward screen form if you happen to do them all consecutively without leaving the particular lobby cycle or match you're in. There is only one page of rewards this season for well this secret or unlockable skin unlike the foundation and also the cube queen in the previous seasons which had either two or multiple pages. And of course with every skin being encrypted in this update from taking a look at the game's files right now with everything that is revealed to us upcoming there is nothing here surrounding Prowler furthermore. Maybe perhaps Prowler's one page of cosmetics correlates to the introduction or him being involved with Miles Morales being introduced in Fortnite so make sure you stay tuned for when we go over all of that intel. Moving on speaking of some more free rewards however we have a ton believe it or not updated in the game's files or coding for this update. As you can see from this 20.20 article that Fortnite did release alongside the update going live within the game they not only mention firstly if it wasn't already obvious that the new ranger shotgun is now in game acting kind of like a pump but obviously the reloading mechanic happening in a different way and secondly with them revealing or showing off the next two items that will be voted against each other in terms of what's funded the most to return out of the boogie bomb and rift to go with us of course having the opportunity to try out both before one is 100% funded which will then swiftly enter the loot pool the most interesting thing about this article is what's mentioned last but not least as you can see at the bottom right here epic games have added some text and a picture of the origin saying help the origin complete a covert operation in zero build you must finish both stages of each quest before time runs out to receive the new quest your first task begins april 22nd at 9 a.m eastern time the origin agenda and as you can see everything goes as follows up to four total quests on screen that we need to complete in specified time frame so feel free to pause the video but the most interesting thing is mentioned at the bottom in regards to what completing all of these quests entails and that is as you can see 
Tennessee finished Quest 4 before May 2nd at 8.59 a.m. ET. The operation is complete and your reward, the secret sledge pickaxe, which again was one of the cosmetics contained within this update in the coding, which will look like this early in reward screen form for those that are weighing up whether they want to get this or not. Personally, I will be. It's a very cool looking harvesting tool and who doesn't like free stuff? As for another free reward that we'll get for doing something kind of interesting in Fortnite that they've only recently started doing, for those that don't remember the Tones and Eye concert, we got a specific spray for going to this creative concert. They're going to be doing this again, but this is the spray we're going to be receiving this time and obviously Fortnite will have further information on all of this subject, the concert and the free reward for when they officially announce it in article form or across their socials. Moving on to some free rewards that we can actually earn now multiple at the same time or for doing certain things within Arena itself, believe it or not. As you can see, many data miners have been going on about or tweeting out about these sprays and stickers or emojis on screen right now. The specific requirements for all of these that you're seeing in reward screen form that data miners have managed to pull into game early are currently unknown, but of course, as soon as I get the intel on how you can unlock any, if not all of these, I'll most likely have it in the most recent YouTube video. So of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on. Moving on to some free rewards, but in the form of what we can unlock in game right now and it not being a physical cosmetic, but rather so XP in a secret form. On this week of Clombo Watch, despite us being able to complete the secret challenge at this area of the map by visiting all of the Clombo Snow Mounds, right now in game, if you haven't already noticed as part of a map change and even consumable update, Clombberries have returned. From consuming 10 of these in total, as you can see, we'll be able to earn some XP contributing toward another secret Clombo quest. It's only a matter of time before Clombos are added back, I believe so, before the end of this season, considering the IO are going to have minimal control toward the end of it, as you can see from all the stages leaked for where their vicinity resides on screen right now. And as you can see, this final one, yeah, the red ring, the IO, or resembling them, or their controlled area, is literally only over their entire base of operation being Command Cavern that they initially converted from Covert Cavern, and also Loot Lake, considering, yes, this is this dimension's version of Loot Lake, despite the one we saw in Chapter 1. Speaking of Loot Lake and map changes, however, with the imagined order being pushed back all the way to this particular area with the seven controlling not only every other area of the island but the outskirts of it. Something interesting about the fact that they have control over one of the centre points of the island if not Loot Lake itself considering in Chapter 1 the zero point was beneath Loot Lake and for those that don't know in Chapter 2 Season 2 the Doomsday device that Midas constructed, harnessed or used power of the zero point coming out of the ground directly well where the zero point was in itself revealed to be in Chapter 2 Season 4. You may be wondering why am I mentioning this particular intel? Well, Hypex tweeted out about the following. In Jones' new voice lines, he mentions that the IO are working on a new Doomsday device. So is this going to be a new Doomsday device live event? But this time revamped in Chapter 3 Season 2 instead of Chapter 2 Season 2, again coming out of the ground at Loop Lake where the zero point potentially is under. It's safe to say it's looking likely now more than ever as they've only just added this in the mid-season update as new dialogue for Jones as previously mentioned. Of course, to in this live event, we can expect the scenery, vibe or even feel or cinematic to look like what the Chapter 3 Season 2 trailer shows in terms of a war between the Imagined Order and the Seven themselves. Who knows, maybe it's even interactive again referring back to the Galactus event for Chapter 2 Season 4, where we actually have to fight off the Imagined Order kinda like what we're doing in the mini live events around the map right now, and if this is the case, thank god we're getting a brand new overpowered weapon returning in a revamped way. For those that have forgotten about the LMG supposedly returning according to data miners, Hypex had this to say and attached the following gameplay about the new LMG it getting unvaulted next week for week 5. And here are all the sound effects and how it'll sound or how the fire rate works on screen right now, so roll that clip. For anybody that used the LMG previously in Fortnite, let's just say that's quite the difference to the weapon overall, not just in terms of how it shoots the fire rate, but the overall sound effect. Speaking of vaulted stuff, Fortnite released this video of a brand new emote called How Sweet a few days ago, and Data Miner speculated it would be upcoming in the item shop rotation after the 20.20 update, but upon this time actually coming around, it was nowhere to be seen, and Sheena stated the following about this. The How Sweet emote isn't in the item shop for some reason, according to Epic, it was supposed to be in the 
shop tonight. It's worth noting that they deleted the entire blog post plus YouTube video about the emote, though it seemed like it got delayed. Of course this emote should be releasing soon, but this doesn't make sense as to why Epic Games deleted not only their YouTube videos and other videos in article form about it. Maybe they're planning on releasing a new bigger article later this week and are saving that for that particular content update, which could be around the time of May 2nd as you can see Sheena also stated that FNCS Chapter 3 Season 2 is starting on that date with a brand new FNCS logo, obviously revamped in terms of its colours. Speaking of logos getting a revamp in the matter of Fortnite anyways, the game overall on Android's version, being obviously a mobile device, has actually turned golden according to I'm Golden YT. Perhaps this is just an updated version of the current state of Fortnite for Chapter 3 Season 2 and they wanted to change the logo, or could it be implying that it's returning to iOS after everything that went on with the free Fortnite movement now being over? Of course, for those that can't remember, the free Fortnite movement actually ended a while ago and it's definitely long overdue for it returning to the App Store. I think Apple are just infuriated with Epic Games that they tried such a movement and that's why it didn't return immediately after the court hearings were over. And speaking of things that are kind of long overdue but not as long as Fortnite Mobile, for those that don't know, since the start implementation of Spider-Man in Fortnite last season's Battle Pass, with Epic Games coming out stating that they're going to be adding many more characters from the Spider-Man universes or just overall surrounding Spider-Man, many people had been speculating that Miles Morales would be upcoming even in as early as Chapter 3 Season 1, but this was never the case. Despite even us having hints toward this inside the Daily Bugle in picture form, of course this never came to be as previously mentioned, but it looks like it could be upcoming in the very near future now, as Sheena tweeted out the following yesterday alongside the Prowler quest getting added. In one of Prowler's quests he says, you're on your way, just keep going. This is a quote from an important scene in the Spider-Verse movie where he says this to Miles Morales. So this kind of confirms that Miles Morales is coming to Fortnite and could be one of the encrypted skins in the files right now considering none were revealed this update. And speaking of how Miles Morales could look in Fortnite, here is a reward screen concept on screen right now, which is not 100% accurate, but a 3D model in the style of what Fortnite used for their skins in game. For more intel on Miles Morales coming to Fortnite as soon as it's leaked, make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and drop a like in today's video if you want to keep referring back to any of the intel or get the video out there to more people. But now in terms of your next destination or other videos now, make sure to interact with anything on screen. But most importantly, hopefully I can catch you. Yes, you the individual still watching, I can see you but hopefully in the very next video I do post on the channel.